and for parents and children who have been waiting for the COVID-19 vaccine. Now tomorrow, the CDC advisory group is expected to vote on the authorization for the Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. The FDA issued an emergency use authorization for the pediatric vaccine on Friday. Now, if given the green light, kids would be eligible to receive a one third dose of that adult dose. And 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is joining us live now with the very latest on all of this and what parents and even kids can expect. Peter. Good morning. About 20 million children are expected to be receiving that first dose of the COVID vaccine this coming week as soon as the CDC director gives the green light. The authorization process for Pfizer's COVID vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11 continues to move along smoothly. Once the CDC advisory group votes on the authorization as early as Tuesday, the CDC director is expected to recommend it. Children would only receive only one third of the adult dose and a trial of more than 2200 children showed the vaccine was nearly 91% effective at preventing symptomatic disease and there were no cases of severe side effects. Like adults, children will be able to get two shots three weeks apart, meaning it can take as little as five weeks for them to be fully vaccinated. But a new survey from the Kaiser Family Foundation found that out of 1,500 U.S. adults, most parents are not planning on getting their children vaccinated right away. Only 27% of parents said they would get their children vaccinated right away. The survey also found that many of the parents are concerned about safety. 76% indicated that they were, quote, very or somewhat concerned about long-term side effects. 71% said they were worried about serious side effects, and 66% were concerned about how the vaccine would affect a child's fertility later on down the road. So when the CDC says there's no evidence that, that, that shows that getting vaccinated against COVID-19 does anything with fertility, it shows it causes no fertility issues. It's an unfounded myth that's scaring the heck out of people. It's Between the virus and the vaccine, doctors say the greatest risk is COVID-19. COVID has bad complications with children. Doesn't have it with all children, but has many. And it also has the complications in this young group of having long-term issues. Now, as soon as the Pfizer vaccine is given the green light by the CDC director, the White House said the last week that millions of doses are ready to, to be shipped to pharmacies and children's hospitals across the country. Reporting in Detroit this morning, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. I know many parents have been eagerly waiting for this. We'll see what happens next. Thank you, Peter, for the update.